Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, we keep having the same sort of questions coming up. Um, the little purple bar here is what you call a secondary menu and people want to sort of float things to the right or reorganize these. So what we're going to do today is we're going to show you a real easy way to just separate these across the screen so it goes from this to something like this. We're going to use a bit of custom CSS but don't let that put you off. I'll put any code that I use underneath this video today. Okay so first thing I need to do is get rid of the code that I wrote. And we'll go back in and refresh. And here it is, that's the default setup. Once you've uh, applied your social icons and put your uh, email address and telephone number in, for those that don't know how to do that, if you go to your theme customizer, which is dashboard, under Divi, theme customizer, I'll open it another tab. Don't need that tab, don't need that tab. Once it's loaded, go down a header and navigation. Go down a header elements. And you can choose to show your social icons or, and the search icon also. And you put your phone number in there. If you want to add gaps or spaces, and just simply put gaps or spaces in. Or gaps or lines or however you like to display your number. And put your email address in there. Publish. And that's how they'll appear up here. So let's go ahead and spread these out evenly throughout our secondary menu here. So let's go to our page. I'm using Google Chrome here and it's got the fantastic Chrome inspector that's going to allow me to do this. So let's right click up on our secondary menu here and hit the inspect down here which will bring up the Chrome inspector. And when you roll over things down here you'll see that they highlight main header main header area. Let's just select something. I'll select that telephone number there and inspect that. And there it's come up with that phone number. But if we go up a little bit ET info that's the actual container that's holding the number, the email and the social media icons. So let's click on that. First thing I'm going to want to do because if if you notice when I've got it highlighted it's pretty there's not much of it there first thing I want to do is make it spread out probably the width so it's similar to our primary menu here so I've got ET info down here I'm gonna left click I'm gonna add width And let's give it say 60 VW, it's just 60% of the viewable width. Now if we hover over it again, you can see that it's a lot wider there. Fantastic. That means we can float everything within that space there. So we don't actually need any float here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say display colon flex semicolon and you see when I put that in there it's crossed it out that means it's already got a display command somewhere else so what we need to do is override that so what I'm going to do is put exclamation mark important after it there we go so that'll work now now the contents in between I want to have equal spacing in between all of these so that they spread out equally using the space that we've make, given them up there. And to do that, let's just do this. Justify dash content colon. What do we want it to do? Well, we want an equal space between. So we use space dash between semicolon. And as you can see, that spread that out using the available space. Fantastic. Now that looks like it's spilled over a bit more than I want it there. I kind of want it back here. So let's adjust that width right here, the 60 VW. 
Now I've just clicked it to select it. I'm using my mouse wheel to roll it down a little bit in size to get it where I want it. Somewhere just like that is going to work for me. So now that we've got this, we need to make it permanent because once we refresh this page, this code that we've just written will disappear. So let's select it all. Hit Control C to copy. And you can either go into your custom CSS for your customizer, which is down at the bottom here, additional CSS. Or also you can do it in the theme options, whatever works for you. I'm here, I guess I'll put it in here. I'm simply going to paste it in here. I put a heading in there, top menu elements. So if we write a lot of code, it'll make it easier to find. OK, so I've pasted that in there. Let's save the changes. Go back to our page and refresh it and see if it's actually going to work. Let's get rid of the inspector. Let's refresh this page and hopefully it should stay the same. fantastic simple as that um, it just a lot of people have been asking these questions how do we spread this out how do we move this this is just one option to do it very quickly using the the display flex command now you might find when you've done this on other devices you may need to put a media query in if it doesn't look correct so let's open up that inspector again we've got our device toggle down here on the left hand side if I click that what do we got here? We've got an iPad. Let's make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. That's okay, but it'd be nice to have it perhaps stretching more consistently. So to do that, what we want to do, let's just inspect one of these again. We're going to want to change the actual width of the ET info when it's on devices smaller than looks like it's 768 if we look up here 768 um, I think the actual iPad is from 980 down and if you look below there's a media query right there fantastic so we could do this let's copy our width here control C I'm going to paste it in there's a media query right there just underneath that you see it's crossed it out because we've got it here well, that's fine and what I'm going to do if I get rid of the, the check mark on that one this one I'll highlight I'll do the same I'll highlight it by left clicking on it use my mouse wheel to roll it up to where we want it which is about there if you wanted to do one for the phone that would be fine so I'm just going to copy all of this what I'm going to do I'm just going to take the media query and I'm going to remember that number 78 VW control C let's go back to our theme options drop down one now media queries you have to open and close some curly brackets and anything that you want to happen within that max width of 980 picks you put in between and it'll have its own set of curly brackets like this so I'm going to copy this and just delete what we don't want I think that number was 79. Okay, float left. Don't need the float. It's already floated. And don't need any of those either. Just need the width. And we said 79, didn't we? Fantastic. Let's save this. What I'll do is just get rid of that gap at the bottom there. Now when you've got media queries you always want to have two closing curly brackets at the bottom. So let's save our changes. Go back to our page. Let's get rid of that. There's the regular. Let's refresh the page. That's the regular one. Let's bring the inspector back up and make sure it's going to work on iPad and cell phone device toggle and let's iPad let's make that a little bit bigger so we can see it 
yeah that works fine let's have a look on an iPhone that's fine what it's done you can't see the social icons by default the social icons are set to display none or not be there on the, on the cell phone that's fine so because it get a little crowded up there otherwise so there I think we've got it that is how to organize your contact details on the secondary menu using a bit of custom CSS and like I said don't forget I'll, I'll put this CSS below so you're welcome to copy it modify it and use it how you wish and if you want to check out the Divi theme take it for a test run there's my affiliate link below you can do that from that also so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have give it a thumbs up share comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.